Hi students, this is a reading video to go along with week six in our distance English packet. This video is for the afternoon packet, so it is at a slightly lower difficulty level. Um, if you are not a member of my distance English class, no problem. You can follow along, write down any vocabulary that is new for you, put any questions that you have for me in the comments under the video, and make sure to like and subscribe so you get notifications when I put new video lessons on the channel. This story is called The Number of Homeless People Living in Their Cars is on the rise. And this story is about two years old. It's from September 5th, 2018. Many people in Seattle no longer have a home. More and more of them are being forced to live in their car. More Americans than ever before are living in cars. In Seattle, the number has almost doubled since 2017. Seattle isn't the only big city facing this problem. Many other major cities are as well. Los Angeles and San Francisco are. So is Portland, Oregon. The problem is biggest on the West Coast. Rents there have been rising very quickly. Many people no longer make enough money to pay for an apartment, even when they have a job. They are being forced to live on the street or in their car. Sarah Rankin works for the rights of the homeless. She is a law professor. Rankin says people who live in their car need help. Their life is very hard. Safe parking programs can help. Are they able to sleep, eat, poop, and breathe safely? We have to start asking what needs to be done, says Rankin. Some cities have started safe parking programs. They set aside parking lots for people sleeping in cars. The lots have bathrooms. Some have a place to cook. Seattle did have a safe parking program. Unfortunately, it was very badly run. The city dropped it after just six months. People working to help the homeless want the city to start a new and better program. Rankin says two cities do have good, safe parking programs. One is San Diego, the other is Santa Barbara. Both cities are in California. In San Diego, Teresa Smith runs Dreams for Change. Her group helps the city's homeless. Housing costs need to drop. In 2010, Dreams for Change opened a lot where homeless people can park their cars. It also helps them find new housing. Since then, the program has grown to three lots. Each lot serves between 30 and 60 cars. Santa Barbara's Safe Parking Program has been around for more than 10 years. It is now run by Cassie Roach. Roach believes safe parking programs are very necessary, yet they are not enough, she says. The programs help some people, but don't solve the larger problem. Housing costs way too much in many cities, Roach says. Until that changes, people will continue to live in cars. The cost of housing is continually rising, says Roach, yet workers' pay is not. It's just not enough, she says. How was this story for you? What new vocabulary did you find in the story? Put that new vocabulary into a sentence. Leave your sentence in the comments under the video. If you want to practice pronunciation, this is a good time to record yourself reading a paragraph from this story. Compare your pronunciation to my pronunciation. Make an analysis. Any vocabulary that's difficult for you, use your cellular phone, take a video, record yourself pronouncing that vocabulary, compare it to my pronunciation, and listen to the differences between them. Until next time, students. Bye.